Hello everybody, Even the Storm here. Welcome back to Europa Universalis for the Horse Lord Mega Campaign. In the last episode, we finished our war with the HRE, and we were able to, um, you know, get a lot of nice treaties, war reparations, giant piles of money, and we were able to capture this one uh, province that we were after. So that got done fairly successfully. And we were able to also increase our colonial range enough that we were able to get some ex exploration done. So we have actually explored the American East Coast for the first time. Though we don't have enough colonial range to actually send any colonists. But we are establishing a colony on the Azores, and that may get us the range we need. So we'll... See how that goes. Either that or we'll get the tech that will extend our colonial range enough to get to the American coast. Uh, we can't even get to these guys over here in Greenland. Um, I mean, we could if we had uh, Iceland, but not just using uh, the Faroe Islands. So, you know, it is what it is. But we're working on it. All right. The other thing that we managed to get is we were able to get uh, the Renaissance present in enough of our provinces that we can actually embrace it once we have enough money. Uh, we need uh, 2,300 ducats. Well, closer to 2,400 ducats. Um, we're making pretty good ducats. So that should be fine. Uh, Rebel Uprising, we're going to have Swedish Separatists somewhere. Stolp. Which is here. We have armies there. These guys are exercising. Um, yep. Yeah. We are just kind of waiting for our manpower to refill because, uh, you know, we took a Pretty hefty losses. Our influence of Vaster Gotland has expired. Yeah, yeah, keep doing it. Doomsday. Now I could spend. No, I can't. I need to get it up to 190. Are we? We are improving relations with them. We need two more points. To be able to annex them, which I want to do. I want to finally annex them completely. So we will do that. Alright. He's finished his exploration of the West African Sea. Byzantium. Uh, doesn't matter from Byzantium has been discovered. Alright. Go ahead, we're going to continue exploring West African Sea Coast. We need to discover this chunk of water there at some point. Man, everybody's having so many problems with rebels. Truce with Bavaria has ended. All right. Algiers. See, Poland is at war with Algiers, are they not? Alright, encroachment of the nobility. It's hard to monitor everyone ever all the time. The boundaries between individual land properties are often grounded in old traditions of documents written when the landscape may have looked quite different. Some with the right resources, this can be exploited. A number of prominent nobility families have used their considerable influence in Suzdal to get away with expanding their properties considerably. If we want to protect the property of the state, we must act soon. Let it slide. Bamut will come under control of nobility, increase their influence by nothing. Or one or two things. Six noble regiments will rise up in revolt. Or nothing will happen and they'll lose loyalty. I'd rather not have to fight a revolt, so we'll just let it slide for now. Would have been right there. I mean, we have an army. 
we could have uh, dealt with it, but, you know, I'm trying to rebuild my manpower. All right, the lookout had reported signs of dwellings, but the ship had yet to see any natives until, at long last, a coastal village in Sierra Leone was sighted. A small force disembarked and was hospitably received, something that was attributed to the natives' fascination with the men who were taller in stature than them and bearded. The natives were beardless, and with some difficulty they managed to communicate that their myths and legends foretold of a time when their bearded gods would come from the sea to visit them. Food and gold were given, which indicates that the province is prosperous and will be of great value to us. This is a promising land. Gain a base tax in Sierra Leone. Yep, still too far away to begin colonizing the African coast. I mean, I could colonize, like, these two. But I kind of want to keep... Oh, the unrest is no longer a thing. Good. Good. It was like England did absorb a large portion of Ireland. Alright, Explorer is done exploring. Go ahead and send them back out. Um, Atlantic South America Sea. South Atlantic. Uh, Caribbean Sea. Sea. Send them out. Truth of Pisa has ended. Let's see. I mean, I could drop our army maintenance a bunch, and then we can bring even more ducats in faster. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. Fleet maintenance, that's almost nothing. Provincial unrest, Kohlberg and Stolp. Aztecs. Oh, hold on, hold on. Are these guys ready to be integrated? They are, in fact, ready to be integrated. Annex them. Cost us five Diplo per month. Is this made to cost a total of 80 Diplo power? That is, that is acceptable. Confirm it. Could send a diplomat to annex Vassal here for Vaster Gotland as well, and we may go ahead and do that as well, just to get all this directly controlled. I mean, I don't mind having vassals. It's just this is a particular portion of the uh, of the world that I wanted to be directly in control over. We have new ideas. We can get land of opportunity. It will cost us 400 diplo power. Global settler increase plus 20. Let's see, what is this? Trade range, naval morale, shipyards. What does actually shipyards get us? Uh, no, we want, I want buildings. Dry dock, shipyard, increase our naval force limit. Ooh, I would really, really want that. Oh, and we can do regimental camps to increase our land force limit. Oh, that's actually perfect. Unfortunately, I need the money for our eventual embracing of the Renaissance. 
And now colonialism is out there. So, yeah. I'd like to get rid of that 50% uh, Renaissance tech penalty. Let's see, how much more do we actually need? Oh. 2300. Kostroma has long lived off the locally produced draperies, but lately they have been forced to sell their produce or products at reduced prices. This is due to the temporary whims of fashion or a permanent change is hard to say, but it's clear that local trade is suffering. We lose some trade goods, Empress Consort of the people. During recent trip to the Roviemi province, Empress Consort Siren saw the suffering of the poorest peasants with her own eyes. Ever since, she's been drafting a plan to help her most desperate subjects. Trying to make these ideas a reality, she needs some funds. 155 ducats. And 15 admin power. Uh, we have more important matters to deal with. We'll gain the legitimacy. Sorry. It's like, I would like to spend more money to build the fleet back up and everything but and get stuff built, but I want to embrace Renaissance. Unhappiness among the artisans. Conflicts and protests over taxes, corporations, trade, and customs policies are becoming quite frequent and could result in a sharp drop in our industrial production if we don't handle the situation carefully. Execute the troublemakers. Merchant guilds will lose some loyalty and lose a stability point. Abolish a tax. Lose 500 ducats. Execute the troublemakers. It sucks to lose the stability point, but I can just spend some power to get the stability point back without too much trouble. Modern Theocracy 10. Eight, seven, seven. Okay. Ambrose Consort Zero has tragically died. We do have an heir. We should have like royal marriages all over the place, right? Yeah, we have royal marriages with Kiev. We should have a royal marriage with Mongolia. Uh, how many diplomatic relations do we actually have? Four of four. Vaster Gotland isn't giving us a royal marriage. But they won't, they just can't. Okay. It's fine. Alright, exploration mission is done. We're getting our prestige back. Thank goodness. Caribbean Sea Coast, send them out. Corentin has declared war upon Algiers. Poland what is currently at war with Algiers. When a smaller country gives up its independence to join a greater realm, there is a lot of adapting, and some parts are easy. While some parts are easy, the administration of the realm will still need to be to expand accompany all possibilities. Integration is a slow process. Gets NX subjects. Alright, so they have been annexed. Perfect. They have given me three regiments of militia or infantry and six boats, which includes three transports, two light ships, and a galley. That's workable. 
Holy Roman Empire have selected Cinnabald the Third of Dofac. All right, we'll bring the transports down here. Um, how does our naval force limit? We're three over cap. So that means these transports are unnecessary. We will remove them. Let's see, light ships, let's select them. Can I give them a mission to protect trade in, let's see. In that node. I have an available missionary, but I don't think I can actually convert anybody. I have two diplomats. You guys are ready for annexation. It's going to cost us 248 diplo power. Do. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it. Do it. Confirm. That's weird. It says that it will. It, it's going to take like zero per month. So it's not making any progress. Military access from Pisa. Forget it. Uh, let's see. Uses zero. Oh, it's because my diplomatic reputation is too low. All right, then, then we'll forget it for now. The Nazarenes have embraced feudalism, okay? No, no, we're not giving anybody any military access. You have 9.96% army professionalism. See, does it tell me how many... I can have two more leaders, okay. There we are. So, let's go ahead and actually... Yeah, let's just go ahead and recruit two more. Oh, you're actually pretty good. I mean, comparatively speaking to these guys. Oh, you're actually two star. Go ahead and have these guys exercise. Getting close. Alright, you guys need to go ahead and explore some more. Atlantic South, uh, America, Sea. How goes the progress on our colony? Slow. Pretty slow. No! We can embrace an institution. Do it.
That means we're actually pretty close to getting some new tech. Beautiful. Poland has embraced the Renaissance. All right. And we now want to go ahead and bring our army maintenance back up. I'm not trying to maximize my money income. I like to have my armies ready to go at a moment's notice. And now we can actually build some stuff. Um, what is our naval force limit? I think we can do one. Can do one more ship. Let's go ahead and get a, a heavy ship. One heavy ship. Alright, we can grab shipyards. Do it. A renowned minstrel recently crossed our nation's borders. His intention is to roam our country, bringing joy to all who will hear him. But some say only your ears are fit to hear such wonderful music. Allow him to go where his heart wishes. Gain prestige. Gain a skill to stability cost modifier artists of the Bulgar heritage following the Tengri faith. I mean, I could use the prestige, but the free stability point. Free stability point. Oh, we actually now have better ships. Early Carrick. Or no, we don't have better ships. Upgrade ships. Hold on. Bring these guys back to port. Can these ships be upgraded? There are no ships that can be upgraded. Okay. Never mind then. Actually, I think I'm going to move these to a different trade node. I mean, because we have 94% trade power there. There's no real need to have any trade power there. I mean, it would be actually better if we could put them in the crime in Crimea. Send them to Crimea. That's going to be quite the trip. And continue our exploration. Atlantic South America coast. Close to the scythe. What is that going to give us? Production efficiency plus 2%. Okay. Trade good produce. Oh! The trade good produced in the Azores is now changed to fish. Royal marriage will accept. Just need a little bit more um, colonial range. So I need Diplotech 9. Alright. Which will get us better ships. And more colonial range. And may study technology. Okay. We also need better uh, military tech. So we're going to have to work on that too. All right, our light ships have arrived in the, ball, the Black Sea. Exploration finished. That was quick. Continue working on it, South Atlantic Sea. There we go. Hmm, 
Looks like the Inca actually command a lot of territory, judging by the size of their name. All right, we can grab the scythe, grab it. And modern theocracy will get us another idea group. So what I think we'll do is we'll go for Diplotech 9 and then we'll put our points into the idea group to finish off the uh, exploration ideas. Yeah, that still won't annex. Alright, we do have these two diplomats. What could we potentially do with them? Ally with Franconia. Which of these guys? Who are you allied with? Pisa, Skane, Carnton, Zagreb. If I were to declare war... Franconia would join. So I'd need to stop exercising my guys down here. Uh, what kind of army does Franconia actually have? Uh, bring me the ledger. Military, armies, uh, Franconia. They have 15,000 in the field with 14,000 manpower. I could easily beat that. At least I think I could easily beat that. Uh, what kind of military tech do they have? Military level is seven, six, seven, seven. Yeah, I could definitely do that. Okay. This army, um, what is our force limit? We can have five more. So let's go ahead and grab that. Actually, let's build... Can't apparently build regimental camps. That's interesting. Build a couple marketplaces. All right. You stay there. I have a Cassus Belli. Uh, do you want to do it? Let's do it. No guts, no glory. Do it. Though the treasury is, uh, pretty bad right now. Go ahead and, um, use zero power to raise taxes. Yeah, do it. The strengthening of the privileges of nobles is severely upsetting the burgers and merchants. 
This is creating turmoil in our realm and may prove disastrous in the long run. We lose the stability points. But we're still a plus one. We are going to have to improve the loyalty of the Merchants Guild. Let's say uh, Grant Monopoly Charters. We'll lose some prestige. So be it. Yeah, we're going to let our armies kind of uh, build up to full strength here. Growth of the administration. At the, as the state and its bureaucracy grow, there is an ever-growing need of people to oversee and administrate various lands and functions. The nobility have traditionally been more associated with military services to the state, but have increasingly made it clear that they still expect to be first in line when government officials or government offices are being handed out. The merchant guilds, on the other hand, claim that an ability considers such appointments uh, as mere awards and will use them only to enrich themselves. Instead, the merchant guilds argue we should appoint men out of individual merit. The unexpected death of a trusted secretary has left a vacant position to be filled at the center of this conflict, with the merchant guild supporting one candidate and an ability expecting us to pick another. While both candidates are talented men, this has to be a political decision. Let's run the clergy instead. Nobility loses 20 loyalty. Uh, Self-made men are what we need to run this country. Nobility loses 20 loyalty. Gain 15 influence. Self-made men are what we need to run this country. I think we'll go with that. We're gonna have, it's gonna be a problem regardless. So the nobility, we now need to drop another five prestige. Recruit conquistador, grant generalship. I'll gain them 20 influence. Yikes. Do we want to blow down the walls? I'd rather not. I guess we'll just let the uh, the siege progress normally. Uh, Franconia doesn't have a fleet. Oh, those are cogs. Hold the phone. Um... Light ships. Let's bring our ships back. We're about to get that heavy ship. Twenty third of January of next year is when it will be. We finished. Fourteen ships. They have two heavies, seven lights. Well, they also have five galleys. All right. Hold on. I don't think we had an actual commander there, did we? I don't think so. Well, that's just... Monarchs were often struggling with ways to subdue the nobility. The rise of firearms reduced the nobles' role as warriors, but left them with something in the eyes of monarchs too much idle time. 
Some monarchs created new, great new palaces with elaborate court rituals to dazzle nobles and keep them occupied. Versailles is the greatest expression of this movement. Lose ducats. Okay. We could use the prestige, so we'll take it. Yeah, we lost all of our light ships. Okay. Fine. We're making money, so we'll just build those ships. Yeah, while it'd be nice to have those things down there in, uh, in the Crimean trade node, it may not be practical at this point until we have larger naval force limit that we can actually... Um, another stability drop. Regency? I thought we had an air. We do have an air. But he's only 10. We have a 224 Regency Council. Fine. Get that point back. Get that siege done. All right. Two armies into Franconia. One army heads north to deal with the Skane armies. Let's see if we can't um, get Vaster Gotland's capital back. Oh, but I just saw the time. We are way over here. So, we'll go ahead, end the episode here. We have that heavy ship, but we now don't ha have no lights. So, we're going to hopefully get our lights back. We've got one, two, three, four, five of them under construction. Um, and then we'll see if we can't challenge their navy again with an actual admiral in charge this time. Okay, so we will work on this war when we get back next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.